Hey and welcome. Today we are going to solve reverse words and string version 3 interview question which mostly asked by big tech companies. So let's get into it. First example here. As you can see we have a decent input string but what we want as output is the words supposed to be stay at the same position but characters might be in reverse order as you can see here. We might preserve the capital cases and also any other weird unicode character that may came up with a word like this apostrophe here. Here. Second example is the same but shorter one. The only eye-catching thing in this case is again the emphasis on preserving the capital case characters. Let's see how we might solve this problem. So if we start from beginning and think really simply through this, what comes into mind is that we should find every space in the whole string first because those spaces will be a checkpoint for us to think about the word that we just traversed. And based on that, we might reverse the character of that word. Believe it or not, that is the entire trick behind this problem but two things challenging us here number one is converting this idea into a code obviously number two some edge cases like the very last word in the string because it does not have any space after it you might ask well how is that going to work now so in order to cook the code out of this idea we need an iteration over input string and do some stuff if we hit any spaces so the idea is that when we hit a space character let's consider this word here we might create an index variable that points to the character exactly before that space so the space index minus one then since we have created that index only for the word that we found we can have another loop as far as the length of that word in reverse order because that is the whole point of this problem and within that loop we add each character into the result variable that we had created earlier. Then, if we done with the inner loop, we can add the space back to the result variable as an indication of the space between current and the next word that we're supposed to process. And then, we are done with that part of the input string. Thereafter, we will do the same process for other words repeatedly until we hit our first edge case, the last word, because we don't have any space at the end of the input string. It's already trimmed for us. So what will happen in this case? Well, in order to make the last word to fall into the gratitude of the inner loop that we were discussing, we need to not only check for the space characters, but also we might check for the end of the string as well. That way, we are going to be able to process the last word too. But here pops out the other edge case, the last character. Remember that I said we need to look at the previous character before any space we find? So that is not the case easier because we don't have any space. To answer on how to fix it, I might say that we will ignore that check when we reach into the end of the string. With that being said, let's jump into the code now to implement it. So first, we need to define our result string. Then we will have a variable to keep track of last space index. I'll explain the purpose of this variable in a bit. Then a simple loop over a string. Within this loop, we will check if the character in our hand is a space. If so, we will create a local index of reverse IDX, which will help us to iterate backward on the word we found. And as we discussed, it will point to the index before space. Then we will do a while loop as long as we hit the last space IDX. So here is why we put negative one for it, because initially we haven't seen any space index. Within this inner loop, we need to add every character into the result string that we want to return. Then decrement the reverse index variable to make us able to break out of this inner loop. So the word is reversed now. The next step is to add space, but with one condition of if we are not at the end of our string, because again, we don't want to have extra space dangling at the end of our result string. Now at the end of the loop, we will update last space IDX with our i value for the next words to use it. Finally, it's time to return the result string. But remember that we need to take care of our edge cases. Let's take care of the last word first. In order to make our algorithm cover the very last word within the loop, we must allow the if check to run when we are at the last index, or better to say, the end of string. Then the last thing is to check for the very last character and for that we're supposed to ignore the i-1 rule. So if we are at the end of the string, we will start to iterate backward from very last character, not the one before. Now if I run this, as you can see the test cases are passing and if I submit, we are in a good shape here. Let's jump into the time and space complexity. 
So the time complexity will be O of n, regardless of every character is being traversed two times, once through the outer loop and once through the inner loop. But we all know that O of 2n is the same as O of n. The space complexity will be O of 1 constant, since we are just creating a new string and few indices. You could also argue that we are consuming O of n space because we are creating the reverse version of string, but I can say that this problem already expects that from us. So in general, since we just created a bunch of variables that kept track of required indices in the algorithm, it's not a big deal and we have consumed O of 1 space. So that was it for this video, thanks for watching and please leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel i will put the link for strings and a few other playlists in the description for you to check it out and finally hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one